What's going on guys? Welcome back. And we are back on Oblivion Part 2. Uh, at this point it's going to be really easy to keep track. But right now we just got out of our, uh, our prison cell by the Emperor who was making an escape. Uh, unfortunately he was assassinated and uh, his sons were too. But I am on my way to find the next heir. <laughs> and I don't have any pants on. Just in case you guys didn't see, I am... Um, Chad Bricklifta. But, uh, you can just call me Chad. We are gonna be making our way to the first objective because I just think that's the best way for me to personally handle this. I also have to figure out how to navigate this map and just overall how to do a little bit of everything. But, the cool thing is. Just try. Jesus. Um. I think I'm getting it. The bottom is like my powers. This is like my... There we go. Okay, and how do I zoom out? I suppose I can't zoom out. Oh, maybe I can. Hang on. Over here is our objective. So, we're going to have to get on the road over here. And then kind of follow it. So we have to make a hard left. But that's going to be our way. We're going we're gonna to explore. We're going to figure what the hell's going on. We're going to look at what the hell this thing is up here. I do not know anything about Oblivion. But this, this is a wide jump. It's a wide jump game. Thank you. What is this? What did I do? Oh, agility. I got agility from the well. That's cool. Got a crab over here. Um, it's a mud crab. Are those what they, these are called? Grab meat. Yeah, so we're gonna steal shit where we're not supposed to steal. We're gonna do things that are probably gonna be dumb to most of you, but this is my first time ever playing this. I know what this sound is. This is the from Skyrim as well. Yeah, from my understanding, this is Cyrodiil. This is the capital, obviously. That is the capital itself right there, I believe. And it's definitely uh, much greener than Skyrim. Skyrim's like your... Oh shit, what's attacking me? I don't freaking a wolf already attacking me. Very nice. Now, how much weight do I have? I've got some weight to spare. Um, we have to take this road. But let's go check this thing out real quick. Fort Chalman. Oh, right, dear. Come on, I get it, buddy. Very cool. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Not so cool. Fucking zombies. This guy alive? Can't tell. Oh. Is that all they had? Just that one undead guy chilling out? The guy must have been lonely as fuck. He's probably happy he's dead at this point. All his friends are all fucking dead on the ground. What's going on? Give me that shit. Bone meal. Give me that gold. Let's head down this road, guys. Let's go all the way down. I think we're gonna have to, right where my crosshairs are, kind of curve up there to get where we're going. So we're gonna spend this episode getting to the town. And maybe talking to the guy. I don't know. It depends on how long it takes us to get there. We may stop and see some things along the line, along the way. And here's a man on a horse who I don't know will be. I don't know what he's gonna. His deal's gonna be. Hey. Greeting, citizen. How could this legion horseman be of service? That was very nice of him. Okay, so the Daedra. Let's sell some of our stuff here, though. What do you want? Greetings, Brett. I don't know how to make this request any simpler, but to put it bluntly, Raylan the Greyfinder must die. Okay. Who? A few months ago, that <laughs> witch of a necromancer decided to inhabit Moss Rock Cavern just north of my inn. I don't know what she does in there. Frankly, I don't want to know. However, I do know that after she arrived, the woods at night became unsafe. Okay. I've seen undead of all This is something I could potentially help with. <laughs> you know what it is? It's just this inn is so dimly lit, it's making me want to fuck all my lights. Like, look at that. That's ridiculous. Get some fucking candles, bitch, and I'll help you. Hello. Bye. What are you the lands surrounding Lake Ramar are studded with small settlements, farms, and woodland game reserves. Sick. What does that have to do with me? Because if I steal this person's horse, are they going to get mad? What if I just, like, push him?
Oh, look at this. Got to keep along this road. What is this all about? I don't know what that does. Is this horse leaving me? Bro, don't just go back. I just stole you fair and square. I'll turn around instead of doing all that shit. That was a fucking husky. I just killed the husky for no reason. What the hell? Oh shit. That was an orc. Oh, I got pants. Look at that, would you? Where's my pants, bro? My sick of my dick hanging out. Is this a door? I go down here. Horse, horse, you listen. You gotta stop with that shit. Shut up. Go up the hill. I need the XP, buddy. Horse! Making this really hard, bro. I know you want to go back to the inn and back to your owner, but I need you. Alright, whatever. I don't care anymore. What the fuck is this thing? Is this a vampire? A little town up here. All is well. This looks like a nice little, little town thing. Ah, it's you. Hi. We've all agreed to let Diram be our spokesman. You'll find him in the inn if you look very carefully. Who? There's an invisible man and his invisible dog. I don't know what to make of that. But Dilem is at the inn, and he's a representative of them, I think. I don't know. Got a Khajiit lady over here. Let's see what she's doing. They say that. Okay. Goodbye. Peace. Go up this hill, you think? I wonder if I can. Todd Howard would say, "Of course you can," but that's fucking Todd Howard. Todd Howard. All right, let's go back. Fort Empire. Oh, shit. I got that too, bro. Oh, never mind. Wrong one. Fuck. Starlight, star bright. That's not the one I wanted either. Fuck. All right. Like little magic demon imps. We got some stuff. Oh. Ow, fuck. I could just walk up and across instead of going just straight and then up like a moron. And there's the right path. I'm very surprised that uh, they, they've remastered. I guess Skyrim is easy to remaster because it's like a little bit more uh, modern. A little, by, by just a very little. But um, nobody's made the attempt to remaster this or Fallout 3 or... Like I get it, Skyrim is extremely popular and it brought Bethesda from like... You know, they were doing Fallout 3 and they did this and stuff. But Skyrim is really the propeller, I would say, that made them main, 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 mainstream. If, you know... If you will. Um, nice. But did I catch that fly? That Mr. Miyagi? That this fly has been killing me all week. I can't stand it. It's literally just like right here. It likes all the lights and shit. It's probably bouncing off my pink fucking face. Here we are though. I think we're this is Fort Ash. There's no one in here that wants to kill me. It's surprising. There's a rat. Who's this guy? Pay up or else. Oh. Ah, uh, all right. We gotta find somebody who we can uh, sell this shit to in this town. There has to be somebody. I'm assuming this is like the Megaton and the Good Springs and the, what's the other one? Riverwood? Riverside? Rivertown? Rivermill? I don't remember. The one in Skyrim. Oh, Deal Farm. It might be actually. Oh, it is the town, yeah. Quest updated. Deliver the amulet. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory now. I just might, might have to take it to Joffrey. Before we take it to Joffrey, though, can I, like... What do you get? Is this, like, an is this, like someone's house? A lodge. A blacksmith. I need a blacksmith who will buy my stuff for me. I guess that's a mine logo. All right. Well, we'll try to sell it at the inn, I suppose. The inn should be open all times, right? Look at this beautiful, beautiful... What is this? A sunset? Yeah. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful pink sky. There's no one here. Who the fuck runs this lodge, dude? Whatever. Can I just take this shit or am I gonna get in trouble? Please, go ahead. Have you seen the Briants and their dog? Yes. My business is private. I must speak to Joffrey. He's Joffer. upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? 
You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Better believe it, kid. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Who was stabbed by a ghost warrior from hell. I'm a prisoner. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. No One shit, night, this Uriel guy. Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. Okay. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. I will. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. You guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, we will have another episode out. I'm going to still figure out the upload schedule. This is literally the first session I'm recording, so I'll have the that settled out right away as soon as the first one goes up. I will have it in the description down below, as I will in the comments. But thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.